Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome back to a Minecraft video. Today for you, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best tips and tricks on how to defeat the Wither Boss. Now the Wither Boss was introduced in Title Update 19 and this is my first video on it. So I want to explain to you in best full detail how it works, how to create it, how to defeat it and much more. So ignore the things that are around here. Let's start off with the basics and that is how to make it. Now you can make this in pretty much any world, however you do need the correct items to do it, so I don't suggest doing it unless you've got the likes of a diamond sword, enchanted armor, etc. Um, so craft one, you need soul sand which you get from the nether and you place it like this, kind of very similar to how you craft a um, an awesome iron golem. And you need to place three with the skulls on top. Um, but for the example of this, I'm not going to build it right here. And you find the wither skulls in the nether. Um, and you have to be careful because not every single wither skeleton will drop these. So it may take you a little bit of time. And you have to be careful because they will give you um, the black hearts, which very, very slowly do damage to you. Now, after you defeated and created the wither boss itself, every single time, yes, every single time you defeat it, you'll get given a nether star. Now this is a very special title update 19 feature because once you get this you can then start to create a beacon. Now this is how you make a beacon, you need obsidian, glass and right in the middle you need the never start. This will create a beacon. If you missed my video about beacons guys make sure you go and check it out. It is in the description. So let's uh, ignore the boring stuff, let's get into the exciting stuff like over here. Now I have created a basic obsidian block area. This is where I'm going to spawn it. Now, obviously getting obsidian will take a very long time, especially getting this much. But the cool thing about obsidian is it has a further blast radius than most blocks. Obviously bedrock will be the best in creative, but you can't get bedrock in survival. Uh, and as you can see, it's a lot better than sand. Any other block that's in here that you can think of, the durability, of obsidian is better than all of it so I do suggest using obsidian however I do have a second way in case you don't want to do this but down here I have simply just created a, a very small room you can make it even smaller if you want to now a very very top tip on defeating the wither is never spawn it next to your house or your farms etc because the wither will fire wither skulls and they will kill the likes of your your sheep your horses etc they will attack animals and as you can see, they've done a little bit of damage to the terrain here when I was messing around. So I'll, I'll tell you the other place on where to spawn them in just a second. So we're going to spawn one. Um, for example, ha having enchanted armor is a bonus. And because you can spawn this with the boss wherever you want, whenever you want, it's always good to wait until you're fully enchanted. As you can see, we have a crazy sword. Um, some people like to use bow and arrows, but my top tip would be to use a sword. Um, because it does a lot more damage than a bow and I'd say it's a little bit more accurate as well I know uh, in this strategy a sword is definitely priority If you want to let the wither boss fly away and do damage then obviously a bow would be the best way to attack it So let's spawn it obviously we need soul sand um, Now the obsidian wall isn't indestructible and it can be destroyed by the final blast from a wither But it won't completely destroy it. So I'm going to show you how it works. This is how you craft it simply place one two and one in the middle and this will spawn a wither now once that bar gets full it will explode so make sure you've got a little bit of a protection for yourself as well so one two three and as you'll see it should explode as you see it exploded there uh, we're just gonna grab some of this I'm trying to show you if it did any damage it didn't really do too much damage around here it can do damage so you have to be careful but this is how you can attack it you can see it is starting to attack the wall and um, so you are limited to time which is why the second strategy is probably the best in my opinion because that way you're not wasting your time getting obsidian. So we're just going to quickly kill this. You can see how awesome my enchanted sword is. It's it's incredible. Um, obviously the best place would probably be to spawn it inside a, um, a sand biome, if any type of biome. Because sand can be easily placed and obviously you can place it like, like this and it'll go down a lot easier. Also sand biomes aren't really the ma majority of places where people live. So as you can see we killed the wither. Uh, we got the wither, the nether star, and obviously the nether star is how you create the beacon. So, although this is an indestructible strategy, um, it did take him a little while to fight out of here, so it gave me a little bit of time to make some damage happen. Um, that's just the way I've done it in the past. Now, the second way, uh, which a lot of people like to do, let's just get rid of all these unwanted things. Let's get rid of this. Let's get, we'll keep my nether star as a, as a prize. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. And let's get rid of this. Um, 
The st second strategy, which is quite common, is find like a cave system. Now, this is just a ravine. I don't recommend spawning it in a ravine. However, uh, let's try and find what, where we was up here. You can spawn it. A lot of people seem to spawn it inside areas like this. These are like just massive underground areas because no one really cares about them underneath. Uh, let's spawn it here. Obviously, make sure you do sp stand back when you're doing this because once it gets to full, it will explode. And no one wants to mess around with that as well. So let's just let's just wait for it to explode. As you can see, it exploded, and you can then start to attack it. And um, so this is underneath. And it actually is a good way to make tunnels. If you really wanted to make a tunnel system, you could use a, a wither boss in creative, for example, as you can see here. But this sword is just no match for this wither. It's just absolutely destroying it. So as you can see, it didn't take me long at all. So yeah, definitely don't spawn it next to your house. Don't be spawning on top. Always do it in caves or if you really want to make your own obsidian uh, base to, to trap it in and do it like that. You could even do it underground, however far or however deep down you want to. That's fully up to you. So yeah, a lot of you are asking for a simple tutorial. That's the best way I do it. It's easy. The Wither Boss can be spawned as many times as you want. However, I have yet to spawn it fighting the um, Ender Dragon. What do you think would win? Leave a comment down below and I'll have a great day. Bye!